So we have here today the EPC 1015 PEM. This is the latest addition to the ASUS uh, EPC Seashell series. This model does come in a variety of different colors, uh, black, white, blue, and red. This is actually the blue version, and this is a, a matte finish version. So I'll show you what that means in a moment. Just go ahead here and open the, the packaging. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's not a lot of extra packaging on this model at all. Uh, it is part of ASUS's latest um, initiative to reduce packaging, to be more environmentally friendly. You'll notice the first thing when you open the package is the, the warranty card. And moving the, the top half, you'll see the AC adapter, as well as the power cord, and some information about the warranty and a user manual. Now, one thing you'll notice with this is that there are no uh, recovery disks in this box. This model actually has a built-in recovery drive. And what that means is uh, all you need to do to access the recovery partition is to press F9 three times during boot up. So you don't need to worry about you know, holding on to a bunch of recovery disks, which is a great thing to do. So you'll notice it comes in a protective sleeve, and I'll just remove that now. So the first thing you'll see with this model is that it does have a matte finish. What this means is you're not going to end up with a whole bunch of fingerprints or, or smudges on the on the lid like you would normally with the in-mold roller design. So I think it actually looks quite a lot better too. Uh, it's a very sleek and, and classic look and it's going to stay looking good for quite a long time. You also see that the battery does not jet out the back of the unit. It's quite a, a seamless battery. And the bottom has a nice texture to it so it's easy to hold and, and you won't slip out of your hands. Looking at the inputs and outputs, you've got an SD card slot here, you've got a headphone jack, microphone, two USB ports, Kensington lock, and your Ethernet port. You've also got on their side the AC port, VGA out, and a third USB 2.0 port. There's no ports on the front, that's a, a nice thing so you don't need to have any uh, cords or SD cards in your way while you're trying to use the touchpad. So going ahead and opening the unit, I'll just remove the keyboard cover here. The first thing you'll notice here is that the keyboard is a chiclet keyboard. So you're not going to get any uh, you know, crumbs building up between the keys. It's also going to be a lot easier to type with the increased spacing. And this is a, the kind of keyboard you would see typically on a, a much higher end notebook of a couple years ago and we're actually putting this now on all of our new netbooks so it's a very nice thing to have. You also notice that the matte finish is extended to the inside on the palm rest and on the touchpad and that this is a much larger touchpad. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the model on right now. The touchpad is quite a bit larger. This is actually you know, bigger than you'd see on some 13 inch notebooks. You do also have the uh, single click mouse button so you can either click you know, left or, or right but it's a single single button the screen. Now there's a reason we're doing this outside and that's to show off that this is actually a matte screen. So not only do you have the matte finish on the, the exterior on the chassis, you also have a matte screen. So this is going to be a lot better to use outdoors. It's not going to be very reflective. Uh, going to be able to see what you're doing a lot better in the sun. You also notice here that you've got uh, webcam cover. So you can either, it comes in an off position so your webcam is closed, but you can release the privacy shutter so you can open it up if you want to. It's a very great feature to have. Uh, you don't need to worry about um, someone sleeping in your webcam, which is not a good thing. Now it is actually, uh, going back to the screen, this is a LED backlit screen, and it's a 1024 by 600 resolution, so it's a pretty good resolution screen. You're going to be able to see your, your website's you know, full width on this, which is a, a good thing. Now, as far as performance goes, this is actually the very first 10-inch netbook to feature the Intel Atom N550 dual core processor. So that's the first dual core processor on a 10 inch netbook. Previously you'd only see these on, on 12 inch netbooks or higher. So definitely a great thing to have with something like this. Uh, you're going to have a lot more uh, multitasking ability. I'm just going to close this update notification here. And uh, working together with our ASUS Super Hybrid Engine, this battery is, uh, this you know, battery hybrid engine and the uh, Intel processor 
work together for up to 13 hours of battery life. So it's an extremely uh, power efficient unit and uh, very, very good to you know, take on the road and you don't need to worry about lugging the uh, AC adapter on with you. It's going to be able to handle, uh, uh, stay, stay with the charge for a lot longer. Uh, it also does have one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, a little bit faster than the previous generation of RAM and it is upgradable to two gigabytes if you'd like. Uh, I'll show you here the uh, movie playing capabilities of this unit. So you see that it can actually handle HD video and I'll just pull up the, uh, the video that's included with Windows Media Player. I think it's a, a wildlife video. And you'll see that in even in full screen it will play quite smoothly. So it can handle downloaded 720p video uh, quite well. There's no stuttering or, or jitters. It's very, very smooth. So good if you want to you know, bring a, a video along with you on the road. And the battery life will actually last quite a long time, uh, even with videos playing or get into uh, you know, seven or eight hours, even with, with videos. So it's quite a good battery life. I'm actually going to go ahead and shut down the unit now just to show you a different future on it. A couple other things in terms of connectivity. It does have uh, the latest version of Bluetooth, which is Bluetooth 3.0, uh, quite a bit faster than Bluetooth 2.0. And uh, as far as wireless goes, it does have wireless N, and that's full wireless N. So this is going to be you know, very connective, uh, going to be able to you know, access your, your router or whatever from uh, from anywhere. So it's it's very uh, very quick and, and just as fast as your your notebooks uh, wireless. So what you can do is boot into something called ExpressGate. And what that does is uh, it's a, a Linux-based system. It's actually a dual boot on this uh, unit. So that if you wanted to just check your, uh, your email or your internet quickly, but say you didn't want to boot into Windows, because booting into Windows can take you know, 30 seconds or, or a minute. It can take quite a while. If you didn't want to do that, you can boot into this system instead. And this has some different features like uh, web browsing, has photos, you can look at your photos, your calendar, that kind of thing. So you don't need to boot into Windows. You can actually just boot into this. And then if you wanted to to uh, switch to Windows, you just click Enter OS, or you could click uh, to power off. So I'm just going to power off the unit. So to sum up, uh, APC 1001 5PM, the first with uh, Intel Atom N550 dual core processor, great matte finish, very nice uh, Know, size and weight aspect. It's only 2.76 pounds, so very, very light, and only 1.4 inches thick at its at its thickest point. So very, very good unit. Uh, you know, Going to be good for multitasking. One of the fastest 10-inch netbooks out there. Definitely uh, a great netbook from ASUS, and uh, this will be a, a hot seller at under $400.